Hey guys, what is up, and welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Wheel promo. So I want to make a quick apology for the pre previous uh, Wonder Wheel episode. So, the problem was, to put it simply, um, that the power went out in the area I was living in for a good 2-3 hours, and by the time it was, it was around midnight. So, um, made it pretty much impossible to actually get anything, and also my computer proceeded to have a mental breakdown. And it pretty much crashed again, so I had to edit on another family member's computer with half the files available to me. I haven't even mentioned who we're playing against, actually. That is right, we are going to be bringing back the Champions League wheel, because we have indeed made it back to the Champions League round of 16. That is right. So... Of course, um, the wheel will be changed, and um, yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, Sevilla, they're never uh, an easy opponent. Um, write them off at your own peril. Hey guys, so we're getting into the first match of the episode. We're playing against Sevilla in the Champions League. Uh, gonna be a good challenge. Uh, never an easy match. They're a very good team. They managed to knock out. Uh, so like. I remember the, they were playing a Champions League qualifier game, so, um, yeah, they managed to make it back into the Champions League. They were literally a post hit away from being out, though, from a side, a Turkish side with Adebayor. Imagine Adebayor in the Champions League, but not Arsenal. Man, Arsenal Fan TV would have been fun as heck to watch, but fortunately that didn't happen. So, yeah, let's take a look at the two teams. So, firstly, our lineup. So, we're, as I already mentioned, running the hyper offensive 4 1 1 4. So we got an all-star cast on the bench. This is calling it a 4-2-4, but in reality, uh, Nangolan's higher up and Casemiro is in the deeper line position. Uh, Sevilla, they have uh, Oscar, as I mentioned. They have Ben Yedder, who had an awesome disc against Arsenal in the summer. 4-2-3-1, um, I swear, literally everybody plays that. And uh, Sergio Rico in goal, very good keeper. So uh, let's head to this match and hopefully you can go along and grab a victory. Bail, it's bail here, it's bail. It's Roger Nigelon! And there we go! Against the run of play completely, it's Roger Nigelon who smashes in the first goal of the game. What a hit! Bail, brilliant turn around the defender. Great pass, and what a finish from Roger there. The keeper stood no chance. That was just too powerful. What a finish from Raja there. Popped out of the net. It's a huge goal coming in to halftime. And what a great goal that was. And there we go, that's halftime. So, in all likelihood, I'm probably going to switch the formation back a little bit. Um, we're being dominated a little too much for my own liking, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to a 4-2-4 uh, if it's available, and then... Yeah, there we go. So that's going to be the only change I make for the half. Just want to um, make sure we don't only have one guy in Adi Conte. I'd love to be able to get someone like him. He would just, he would literally allow me to use a one man and like be confident. It's Neymar! Neymar, what a turn and what a goal! It's brilliant from Neymar! And it's a very, very solid finish there. Incredible agility. Neymar just skips past his defender. So it's passing from Casemiro, and Neymar just blows by his defender. And a great finish into the corner there. That is just stunning. Neymar Jr. showing his class. Can you do this for PSG in real life? Uh, in the Champions League? Let's see. So yeah, great goal from Neymar. Oh jeez, I got done. Okay, Butland. Okay, good catch. Uh, time to make substitution or two now. Bale's tired. He's had a good impact on the game, but I think he needs to be taken off. So, I'm going to bring on um, Coutinho for him. And um, I'm tempted to bring on... Uh, actually, I'm going to bring on uh, Rabio for Casemiro. He's a bit tired there. And, uh, yeah. We'll share. I might actually play it right back in uh, the end of the game, but at the moment, we're okay, so... Those are the two changes we're going to make. We just need a little bit more of a uh, boost in energy pin. I 
Oh, ho, ho, what a team goal! Sweaty goal! The brilliant assist from Wea could have easily finished off, but I just had to sweat it across. And Gareth Bale coming out of the game right after this with a great finish. We are up 3 nothing on Sevilla. This is just humiliation. Raja Nangolana admittedly is just too good in this game. He is broken. Um, yeah, just what a goal from uh, the whole entire team, and Bale was a recipient. Great finish into an empty net, and uh, we lead. And uh, we lead. So I want to bring up the topic, actually. I'm definitely considering potentially doing a uh, Champions League sell-off. So that means uh, I may uh, put a pull up or decide on my own, basically, say, up to five potential players we could... Uh, get rid of to just freshen up the series and then we would actually be able to then dip into that ultimate team market again which was a little fun but I was only able to do uh, one episode with it and potentially be able to you know um, reinvest those funds because you know uh, a player of the year or a Tati Conte would uh, look pretty good I'm gonna bring on uh, Ibra actually for uh, Weya He's a bit tired, uh, and I think Ebra could be a great sort of just late game target man. Now uh, we got a corner. It's Coutinho and Pele with the last minute finish. It's four and Pele. With a solid finish off the rebound. We have indeed humiliated Sevilla in the first leg. They cannot stand up to us on their two feet. What a brilliant finish. Pele, calm, cool, collected. And yet again, you gotta feel for the keeper. He just can't do anything from that range. It is a 4 nothing victory. Yet again, another jammy goal. But to end off the game, I will definitely take that. And yeah, um, I think that is a pretty fantastic way to end off this game. So a 4 nothing victory over Sevilla. Absolute battering. So that's it for uh, the first match of the episode. So I think it's time to spin the wheel of victory, the Champions League one, and see what we can do. Alright guys, so we're going to be spinning the Wheel of Victory, the Champions League edition. So, to change the report, so it is now a Legend Wonder trade, instead of a 90 plus rated Legend. And then it is to upgrade the player to this their special, their best special card, that is right. So, yeah, um, there are some pretty good players that you could totally salivate over, but let's spin the wheel. Alright, so we're going to spin it now. And we are going to be able to do a Legend Wonder trade. That is absolutely insane. I think it's pretty simple. I'm going to um, go along and I think I'm going to sacrifice uh, George Weah. So I know what you're saying. Why George Weah? Because he's been here since pretty much the like fourth episode. And he's been here for about 14 episodes. Or 14 or 13. So... I think, uh, to put it simply, it's time for, like, a new striker, so, um, yeah, let's simply put, we're just gonna go to, um, of course, the Legends League to make sure we actually don't, um, well, we get someone decent, but, yeah, it's time to, uh, go along, and hopefully we'll get the luck of the draw, so, yeah, uh, let's see what we can do, come on, please, let's get somebody good. Alright, and okay, so we got George Way again. However, um, thing is that since we already have George Way, I am going to actually be choosing George Best. So, alright, so we're gonna be getting into the second game of the episode, so, um, yeah, we'll be playing against Everton. Um, should be a good challenge there. Um, 
Yeah, just very pleased with the team. Uh, very solid. Uh, I think we can expect a whole heck of a lot from it. And um, yeah, I think anything but uh, going for a victory would really be selling ourselves short. So um, yeah, we'll take this uh, team into the match versus uh, Everton. I do feel like there's something I'm forgetting about. I really just um, Cambry now, so I'll try to think about it, but hopefully it's nothing big. We're going to be getting into the match versus Everton, so yeah, after that huge win over Everton, uh, very pleased with the team, and uh, really expecting a lot of them. So Everton, they're a good side, but they are, I'd say, weaker than Sevilla in all honesty, and um... I really think we should be expecting a victory over them, in all honesty. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the two teams. So firstly, we are going to be taking a look at the lineup of Everton. So they have Ruth Barkley and Lukaku still there. They're running a 4-2-3-1. Where have I seen that before? And they have Gabriel Barbosa on the bench. Oh, okay, that's a pretty good signing for them. And for us, we have our 414. Oh no. Oh, I forgot to. Cheese. Okay, sorry about that. Um. Finish! Finish goal! It's Paolo Maldini! And yet again, a jammy goal! And I thought that was way up popping up with the goal, but it is indeed Paolo Maldini, who has been an absolute stalwart for us. Really, no doubt, he's been an absolutely brilliant player for us. And, um, yeah, it's great to uh, see him getting a good goal there. Neymar, why are you not switching on to him? It was like I was spamming the LB button there. But uh, my players wouldn't do what I wanted there, so... I'm actually going to take off uh, Bale, and uh, due to the fact that he is going to be actually replaced uh, in-game in the next match, I am going to take away off at halftime. Uh, it's been nice to know you, George. You've been a fantastic player to play with. Absolutely no doubt there, but uh, uh, time comes to the end. We want to swap out players and uh, give the series a new boost, I think, uh, in all honesty. Like, before, it's been great, but... We need some change to, I'd say, improve the longevity of the series and make sure we can really comfortably get it to the end of the year. Holy jeez, that was just crazy. Alright, now it's Belasi. Oh, nice touch! Oh my god, what are you doing, Neymar? That is horrendous! You literally took the touch towards the player. Great, well, now we need to get a goal. Alright then, that uh, ratchets up the urgency there. Alright, so it's gonna be Romelu Lukaku on this. Headed! Oh my god! No, 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 It's Ross Barkley with a header! It's finishing! It is Raja! Raja 9 go on! And we come right back! It's 89 minutes in! And can we do what seems to be absolutely impossible? Brilliant finish from Raja there! Come on, let's get the ball! We need to go back as quickly as possible and hopefully perform a bit of a miracle. It's Pele! Oh, we friggin' drawn against Everton! Oh man, we just couldn't do it. Well, not the best result in all honesty. Um, we got screwed by that free kick, man. That Casemiro challenge, I, I, I just messed up. Um, Alright, so we're going to spin the wheel of the draw. So, what's going to happen to us? We are going to be forced to go along and... One rating downgrade for the best player, so... Um, assuming that's going to be for Raja Nainggolan, so Raja Nainggolan is going to have to go down to a 98 rating, but yeah, a bit of a frustrating end to the episode, but uh, not bad. Uh, things will be changing in the next episode or so, but 
yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of the Wonder Wheel Crew Mode, and I shall see you guys later. Peace!